guys, how's everybody doing out there today? Just wanted to make a video here and let everyone see what I got and see what you think of this because this is my first time ever trying uh, these U loops from Blue Force Gear. Here's the Vickers Sling. I already have, I already use these. They're awesome. Uh, this is one of my 590A1s here. I have a couple of these. And the reason I want to do uh, use these U-loops is because it will allow you to attach a sling to almost anything. So like if you have the uh, Magpul handguard, um, the M-lock handguard, I should say, you could use this without even having, you know, a quick attach on the... Um, handrail. So here is the attachment point here. On the back, I shoot uh, left, and here's the attachment point up here, okay? So the reasoning for needing these is because the sling is wider than these loops. Oh, some of you know this, some of you don't. So the sling will go through here, and then the quick attach, you loop, will uh, un unhook from here, come out, and then you can just loop it right through here. So let's go ahead and get this ready, put this sling on, and we'll see what I think of it. So just for a reference point here, guys, you can see what I was talking about. There's the sling loop, and you can see this webbing is too wide on this Vickers padded sling. So let's go ahead and get these uh, U-loops on and see what they look like. All right, so now's the time to go ahead and set this up. This is the padded sling, and uh, one and a quarter is the width you need on these. I didn't know that at first. They have them in one inch, one and a quarter. I had to look it up. So it would go through there. Come back down through the hole. This one is fixed on the other side. Only one can move. And it and it's a steel cable that is coated in like a polymer type material. It may take me a second here. And that's it, guys. That is attached, and it will not come out. <laughs> Unless you want it to and you make it come out, it's not coming out. So there's that one. I'll go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, guys, let's go ahead and attach the one to the front here. Make sure the sling is squared up, and it is. We're just going to come through here. Go through the hole here. And then up over this little channel... It's locked in. That's it. It's done. So here it is, guys. I think this is one of the best slings on the market that you can get. I know there's some other good ones, and I haven't tried those yet, but in my opinion, I think this is up there with the best. So there it is, guys. My 590A1 now has a sling, and it's ready to go. Uh, this is one of the guns that I use for home defense. Uh, this would be my, you know, shotgun home defense. And it is very important to have a sling. It, re it really is. If you ever need to walk around with this for extended period or something, or for whatever reason, it also holds it to your body. So if somebody were to try to grab it, if they somehow got close to you and they tried to grab uh, this shotgun, they're not going to be able to get it off of you. Uh, which is another reason why you carry that uh, knife like I carry on the side, the K-Bar. Um, the tactical fighting knife that goes on your side. Uh, I actually use that on duty every single day. Even when I'm not, I use it every single day. If somebody's ever going for your weapon, you got that knife to do what you need to do uh, in a sheath on your side. So, uh, not only are there a lot of benefits, but somebody just can't rip this out of your hands if they get close enough. So... Just some food for thought, guys. That is the Vickers Sling. And I just bought it off of a, um, a reputable seller on eBay that was a actual store. I think the guy had, or the store had 500,000, uh, 99% feedback. And I bought the U-loops from another store on, on eBay. So there it is, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. DOF out.